Welcome to the Peace Security Channel once again. This is a post review clarification for Xfire's Personal Guard, which is a free product that I tested uh, just yesterday. And it seems to have surprised everyone, including me, and I have really no idea how they managed to do this. It got a perfect 100% detection in my detection test, and that was just uh, way beyond anybody's expectations. So today I decided to do a similar test with obviously newer samples. Now, generally by the time when uh, I use the samples, they're like, as I say, they're probably a day old. Now these samples have just been released. They're probably just a few hours old and I will do a similar scan. In fact, I just extracted these samples and only two of them were caught by X-Virus. And if you look at it, if, even if we do a custom scan here of these samples, it does not detect anything. As you can see, just uh, two items were detected out of 500. That is a very, very low detection rate. And the same thing is probably going to happen if you use fresh samples from anywhere else. Now, the reason why it probably got a hundred percent detection rate yesterday was because um, they might be sampling malware websites like for example virus sign virus uh, share and so there's so many websites out there so instead of analyzing and um, finding whether a file is malware or not themselves what they're probably doing is trying to sample the websites that do exist that most testers use. So in that way, they have a phenomenal detection rate when, you know, you test them, but in the real world, it may not work out that well. Having said that, this is a free product. It does give you some value for, you know, for your use. It's It gives value to the customer. It is not a fake antivirus, as a lot of you have suggested. So get over that concept. It is not a fake antivirus. It uninstalls pretty easily. I'm running it on my host machine. If it was a fake AV, I wouldn't be doing that, of course. So feel free to test it. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this product. It works. But uh, the way it works, I don't think it is reliable, and it's not meant for co consumer use. And in fact, I never suggested you to do that in the first review. What I'm trying to say is uh, these developers, they're probably, this is a new product. Give them some time, give them a chance to develop. But at the moment, as I said, the way they're detecting malware is not very effective or reliable. Of course, the behavior guard will still work and it might protect you from some samples, but the response time to malware in this method will be very high. So by the time you will be protected by this product, the malware would have probably already been there. But anyway, in some situations, even this might be useful. And there's absolutely no harm in running this product. I mean, there's no inherent danger in this uh, piece, uh, in this little program. So having said that, it is not as effective as you may have uh, got a false impression from the last review. So hope you guys enjoyed this little clarification. I, for uh, comparison's sake, I'll just show you. The same samples when scanned by MCSoft reveal all 498 pieces of malware. So MCSoft maintains the 100% detection rate, but X-Virus doesn't. And that clearly shows that it's not as reliable as the other anti-malware companies and they're just sampling websites to get their detection rate higher. So obviously it is not meant for consumer use or to be used as a standalone product at this moment. But um, it is a valid product, it works, and uh, there's no reason to consider it as a fake AV or anything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little clarification. Stay tuned for more reviews. I'm planning to do a bigger comparative test today with Avira, AVG, and MCSoft. That'll be really exciting. So I hope to see you guys there. And I'll, uh, I'll be off now.